Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Staying at our cabin was really nice, um, especially because it's all real misty today. And we're heading finally today into the redwoods, so we should get more mist. But kind of like it's like by sections, so you drive through certain sections and it's nice and dry and warm, and then the next section misty and cold. So we're wearing all of our gear and prepping for all the cold bits and then overheating in the warm bits, but you know, it's better than freezing. So let's go grab some breakfast. Up. Just move by times when we could shine. Uh, Melly, how are you liking Highway 1 so far? I really like Highway 1. Um, we rode from Bodega Bay to Fort Bragg, and that was really beautiful. It was so cold and silky and a bit rainy, but I like the rough coast. It reminds me a lot of um, Denmark and Sweden. Yeah. The architecture and yeah, the rocks and I don't know, just the rough weather. It's nice, I like it. And wearing my rain gear today, jacket and pants. Shout out to Rosie, uh, Rosie Gabriel. She's a YouTube motorcycle traveler and she is my friend. <laughs> and she gave me the advice to pack layers and to bring my rain gear. So I thought, why not? Yeah. The packs are really small. And she actually gave me the pants. So thanks, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> I have a hard time understanding that like a week ago we were overheating in 43 degrees Bakersfield, California, one of the hottest damn places on earth. And uh, now I am in a full jacket, scarf and everything, multiple layers. California is a big state. Can we go back? 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 <laughs> All right, well, we made it through, we made it to the end of this stretch of the one. I guess it's the end of the one real proper, and we're down the chandelier tree. Melly, you've been enjoying twisties for yes. the first time. Tell people about your experience with the twisties. It was lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't pick any better twisties to really start falling in love with it. Yeah. You've had trouble in the past. We did Highway 3 and it was very yeah. challenging for you. But Just paid $10 to drive through a tree. <laughs> yeah, to get stuck in a, in a, in a foresty traffic jam essentially. Yeah. But it, it is cool. I mean, it's, it's a nice beautiful that, tree. It's nice that it's still alive given how much you traffic know, it traffic has experienced. Traffic it has yeah. experience, yeah. Hi, this Highway 1 stretch has been really good for you, right? Like this is the first time you're really yeah. loving the twisties. I love had the challenges. twisty turns, yeah. Um, yeah. I like the leaning and the weaving and the... <laughs> you know, I think I prefer windy over twisty still because yeah. it's kind of just like yeah, this. back and forth. And it's more rhythmic. The twisties yeah. are a little abrupt sometimes. Yes, they are. Because uh, you also go downhill and uphill and you can't see through the corners, mm -hmm. right? And there could be anything behind it, like a truck or a fucking giant mobile home with a car strapped to the back. Yeah. And the car is swerving like this. Um, so yeah, but it was lots of fun. I loved yeah. it. And yeah. So yeah. There's, no, there's no getting around it. I mean, for those of you who don't ride motorcycles, you, twisties, like we talk about the twisties and we love it, but 
it's work. I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I need and to it's, focus. And you, see, you come out the other end, you're like mentally and physically tired. But yeah, a little bit. It's but, very rewarding. But though. while you're doing it, it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. just being focused for like an hour or how long ever you yeah. go through there. So it can be it can be a little bit much, but it was a, also a really great experience. And yeah. I think it was nice to see her come out the other end dancing and smiling on. She gets off her bike after a few <laughs> days of like some pretty tough riding. Melly's, yeah. Melly's loving it again. Highway Yay. 1 was exactly what we needed. Highway 1, yes, and 101, right? And 101. So we're about to get on 101 now mm -hmm. and head closer towards big trees. The sun, the sun is bright, no clouds. The sky that was warm on my face, happiness all around. Don't tell me what will happen if I leave this place today. Tell me what will happen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we made it. I just made a Simon impression. We made it to a little bit further than Crescent City. So we're just a couple miles away from the border to Oregon. And we found a really nice campground. We just pulled in to see if there's some spots left and Champ jumped out of the sidecar right away. So that's the approval. There he is. So we're going to camp, but the ride today and so far has been hot, cold, hot, cold, and the last part has been very cold. We're kind of frozen and we will have a tea or coffee somewhere and warm up and then camp for the night. Okay, so right next door there's a casino and picked up a couple hot beverages and then Melly thought she'd take a walk around and next thing you know, she finds herself a little horse-themed slot machine and, well, she's been in there for a while. In all honesty, she's probably just people watching. She finds stuff like this very, very bizarre and I don't think she's ever been to an American casino. They're not very much different than Canadian casinos other than the smoking, I think. But, yeah, people watching. Champ is very patient, aren't you, buddy? Very patient. Did you make her a thousands? <laughs> no. No money? No. Melly, did this you spend the all the gas money for getting home? I can't believe no, you. It's just that I did some major people watching. Yeah, I figured that's what you were actually doing. And um, I also think for me, it's almost like television. Yeah. You know when we stayed in a motel yeah, and yeah. I couldn't take my eyes off the television because I haven't had a television in like, I don't know, over a decade. And this is like when I see the blinking lights and stuff. You know, I grew up in a small town. Okay. <laughs> so whenever <laughs> it gets darker and I see blinking colorful lights, I'm like, I'm like a moth, you know? Well, yeah. I've got a cozy tent for you to crash in tonight. How about that? Good. Yes, let's do that. A little bit simpler. Yeah. Not so many good. blinking it was, lights. It was good to warm up and have a hot drink. Hi, yes, it was. Champ, you excited to hit the road? Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. 